Good morning. Today's reading from the Journal of Hildegard of Bingen, as written by Barbara Lachman, is from the Feast of St. Benedict, March 21st, 1152. Crossing the cloister at dawn, barely any peach orangey rose in the sky at all, certainly not any that would rise above the cloister wall at this hour in season, and yet the light appears, and of such a saturated shade, it begins to acquire an odor of late March earth as well. Hyacinths and crocus bulbs planted only last fall, nestling into the bases of our dun walls, push up thickly green. My eye follows their path of bloom and bud, spirals within the barely greening patches of the earth, thawed within the cloister. And in the shadow of the living light, the giant beech tree is suddenly transformed, and she is there before me as a tree, and speaks with the voice of wisdom. Her whole torso takes on the strong contours of the beech trunk, but whose bark is patterned in plates and scales, as of a giant fish. I am acutely aware of my hands, their tingling almost to itchiness, and I place them first on the smooth trunk, and then gently cupped to my ears, knowing the connection between us needs to be sounded into more being. I hardly dare to raise my eyes, knowing the sudden brightness that will be generated, knowing it will at first make me dizzy and lightheaded, although its energy is always welcome. But it isn't the Blessed Virgin after all. There is no nest in her hair, nor do birds sing in her or sing. It is my beloved Ursula, and hers is a very different sound. She is herself the size of the tree, crowned as ecclesia. She requires that we sing a new song, that my virgins and widows sing, and we will celebrate her feast this October with offices of her making. I hope you have a great Friday.